Next, we're going to style our anchor tags. And again, this is all in the exercise instructions. If we look at our final website, we see some of our links are silver and then some are red. We'll come back to this later. But for now, let's just style all our links silver because that's what all the main links currently are. They're all silver except the ones in the paragraph and we'll come back to why this is. So we know we want the color, which is our property, and the value of that is silver. And that with the semicolon, hit save, command S, control S windows, reload our page. Wow, they're all now silver. The next thing we want to style is going to be our header size. And we've provided the font size for you. When you work in an industry, at an agency, you'll have a brand guideline of exactly how big the font size should be. Usually a team of designers and UI UX experts will provide this guideline to you. So in this case we know we want our H2 to be 30 pixels and our H1 to be 60 pixels. Because we've provided that to use a guideline. So we're going to go to font size 60 px stands for pixels 30 pixel file and save with command s we're going to refresh and look already we're getting closer and closer to our final product with just a few small changes to our CSS this is the power of CSS. Next, if we look at our final product, let's go click exactly on the paragraph tag. The font size is 16 pixels. So let's do that. We want all paragraph to have a font size, 16 pixels. Hit save, refresh. It's now 16 pixels. It may not show that way because by default, it was around 16 pixels. Next, you know, in our header right here, it's black. We want the header portion of our website to be black. So we're going to click here, header. What's cool is you can write code again in Inspector. So you can write background, color, black. And you can copy and paste all of this. Be careful when you copy and paste for typos. I'll paste it over. The next thing we want to look at is our nav, main, and footer. For right now, we'll leave nav and main blank. We'll come back to those later. And the only thing we'll style is our footer. And if we go back to our final example, our footer is also black as our, our header. So as you can imagine, the background color will be black. And I save that. I hit Command S. Reload this page. You can hit Command R to reload. Click that little button. And our footer is now black. Our header is black. The last thing we'll do is we'll paste in our CSS reset rules. We've provided that URL for you. It will take you to this GitHub gist linked. Copy and paste it over. And you're going to put these rules at the very, very top of your website. At line one. And you're going to hit save, command S. And we're just going to reload. And that's it for exercise two. See you in the next unit.